Hello everybody, this is Kernazic710, and this is a tutorial in Ticket, not Minecraft, on how to make infinite diamonds! So, yeah. Um, I have a little setup here. It's almost like the one that, um, Infinim uses, because it's pretty much, like, the most efficient. Ignore that for now. So, to make infinite diamonds, the sad part is that you need 10 diamonds to make infinite diamonds, and a lot more from that. So, you will need some water, some lava, block breakers, redstone tubes, redstone, some repeaters, a redstone torch, which you'll need later, and that will, and some of those will create, and, and a condenser, yeah, and a condenser. So, to make a block breaker, you do this setup right here, six cobblestone on the outsides, and then down the middle, iron pickaxe, piston, redstone, to get a block breaker. Um, to get the redstone tubes, you put brass, glass, brass, the arms, to get nomadic tubes, and you put the nomadic tubes with the redstone to get redstone tubes. And I'm pretty sure you know how to get a repeater. And this is how you get a condenser. So you need four diamonds here, four obsidian here, and in the middle is an alchemical chest. Here's the next part. To make an alchemical chest, you need this setup, which needs another diamond. And to get these three dust, um, you do each of these. But one thing you should notice is that this is charcoal, not coal. You, have, you must remember that. This must be coal. I mean charcoal. Bleh, bleh. So that's how you make each of the, um, the different covalence dusts. Oh, that, that's all this. <laughs> that's all the crafting recipes, I guess. So yeah. So I have a condenser here. If you go into it, put um, this is what I call the creation slot. Put a diamond in here. So um, that's about ten diamonds because you need three diamonds to get the obsidian to make a diamond pickaxe. Um, you need a diamond for the alchemical chest, which is in one of those chests, I don't know. Ugh. Um, and you also need a diamond to go in the condenser, and you need four diamonds to make the condenser. So, ten diamonds. Hm. So, the next step is to create a cobblestone generator. You can make as many as you want, and it depends on the amount of block breakers you have. So, I actually have this one single player world that I will show you later. I have so many diamonds and so many cobblestone generators, it's amazing. It's actually on survival, by the way. So, to make a cobblestone generator, you dig out this kind of hole. Make sure to plug that up. Put water here and lava here. Break that, and you get a cobblestone generator. So, um, you break that block there and put a block breaker in it facing towards the cobblestone generator. So make two holes here that's where the cobblestone comes out of that little hole so once you put wait no lead some nomadic tubes up to the condenser like that so now the next step is to create a pulsar actually if you want to you can use a timer but I don't like making those because it takes a lot of stuff to make a timer so repeater facing that way repeater Repeater, repeater, redstone, 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 redstone. Take a torch, light it up, and then break it. I failed that time. Let's try again. And there we go. Here we have a pulsar. So now, lead a line of redstone from that pulsar up to the tube. So now you are. Um, I made. I made you get redstone tubes because it can run a redstone current through it. The block breaker is powered by the redstone current and the redstone tubes from the pulsar to continuously power the block breaker. And it will continuously get that cobblestone that, that is being generated. So let me cover this up to make it look a little nicer. There. So now, a cool trick to do is if you want to make some more pulsars, no, not pulsars, if you want to make more generators you don't even have to make the entire setup you could just make a hole here put water and break that block and I'll create another generator so you can <clears throat> do the same thing block 
Lock breaker. Okay, two holes. Like that. Nomadic tubes. Wait, no, not nomadic tubes. Redstone tubes are able to carry the current, like, I think the entire way. So, the coolest thing about nomadic tubes is that they know where to go. They're smart. So, I think it runs through it completely. No, it doesn't. So, if it's not running through it completely, run a line of redstone over to the pipe. Actually, no. I don't need to do that. Just make these blocks here. And run a little redstone up to them. And I'll power it. And there you go. You have another generator. So, all the cobblestone leads into a main pipe right here. As you can see, cobblestone from each of the cobblestone from each of the generators so it leads into the condenser so slowly the cobblestone goes into the condenser and it creates a diamond so if you want to you can hook up in you can hook up as many generators and you, as you would like to this thing but I have my sound turned off because if I have my sound turned on while having this thing run I hear tss, tss, It's really annoying. So yeah, you could just hook up as many generators as you would like. And so that's how you get infinite diamonds. So if you want to, you can lead a wooden pipe out of a condenser powered by a redstone engine to lead it into a chest to store all your precious diamonds. So there you go. That's how you create infinite diamonds. Okay, so I am now on my single player world. Um, this is my peaceful single player survival world, and um, I've hooked up, I think, 19 cobblestone generators, so which is pretty amazing. So if we go into my basement, here we have the condenser with the diamond. Look how fast that's going up. Look at that. Just look at that. And this is this is where I store all my diamonds. Oh, 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 oh. Seriously, this is completely legit. I did not spawn any of this, I swear. So, the diamonds get pumped into this chest. And if I get enough diamonds, I make a block and I put it in the wall. So that's why, so pretty much my single player my single player peaceful world is pretty much a diamond factory. Kernan Diamonds Incorporated. So, if we go outside over here. Up here. Oh, this is a little laggy. Probably because of all the stuff. Um, these are all the tubes that I've led to a ton of cobblestone generators, and it is all powered from one little pulsar. Right there. I don't know what that is. It, it's, oh, oh, yeah, 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 there's two, there's two pulsars. So, I just have pulsars, like, lined up from here. Well, not pulsars, like, um, the generators, all the way from over there. <coughs> to over here. So like I said there are 19 different cobblestone generators <coughs> sorry excuse me and they all lead into one single pipe right here look at that they go into my basement let me go back in my room well not my room my house down here they go into my basement lead into the condenser and they create diamonds so I have a quarry, like I have, yeah, I have a quarry that I move around, and so I have pipes that lead into my basement, like right there. That's the, um, that's how I slow down the current of all the items, like leading straight into my house. Slow down like the sorting stuff. So I hooked up some diamond pipes to my quarry, and these are all the blocks that I hate, that I don't want. They all pump into this pipe, and they go into my condenser to help create diamonds as you can see so here's some cobblestone that came from the quarry it goes through it goes through the diamond pipe in the red as you can see so it goes through like that and it leads into the condenser so here you go you can hook up as many cobblestone generators as you like to it just um, make sure that you run a redstone current through them and that's how you create infinite diamonds so enjoy your infinite diamonds Make a lot of stuff. Enjoy! Bye-bye.